Hi everyone, I'm Eric Stetson, founder of an alternative currency called MANA. MANA is the world's first currency that uses blockchain technology to distribute a basic income subsidy to people all over the world. Money is one of the most important institutions of society. The way money works, the way it is created and distributed into circulation, plays a big role in determining who will get rich or stay poor. Imagine a world where a universal basic income is built into the system of money itself to help reduce the gap between rich and poor and increase economic opportunity for everyone. MANA is a currency that was designed with this goal in mind. MANA is distributed for free as a human right to anyone who can prove they are a unique human being. Our nonprofit organization, the People's Currency Foundation, uses tax-deductible donations to support the price of MANA on markets where it trades. This helps fulfill our charitable mission by ensuring that MANA can gain and maintain value without relying on speculative investors like other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. For those who don't know what a cryptocurrency is, it's a digital currency that uses a decentralized record-keeping system called a blockchain without needing to trust a centralized institution such as a bank. Transactions are processed and verified by the combined computing power of people's computers all over the world. Bitcoin was the first alternative currency to use a blockchain, and hundreds of other currencies have been created in the past few years using this revolutionary open source technology. The great thing about blockchain is that any person or organization can create their own secure digital currency and distribute the money supply according to their own philosophy. So if you believe that everyone should receive a universal basic income, you can use blockchain technology to create a cryptocurrency and distribute it to everyone for free as a UBI. That's what we're doing with MANA. The challenge is to persuade enough people to believe in the currency and use it so that it will become more valuable and the UBI recipients will actually receive a meaningful amount of money. But in some ways, this may actually be easier than persuading enough politicians to pass laws to give everyone a basic income provided by the government. Even if only a few million people decide to support MANA, it could have a significant economic impact to help the poorest of the poor. Now, having said that, let's be honest about the limits of what a project like MANA can achieve. It would be very difficult to give away enough free cryptocurrency to provide a real basic income for people in wealthy countries, such as the United States. But nearly half the people in the world are living on less than $2.50 a day. For these people, just a few hundred dollars a year would be a real basic income. The problem is, there is no world government to provide such a program. Whole countries are mired in abject poverty, and even if their own national governments created a UBI, it would not provide enough money to help their population achieve greater economic opportunities. This is a problem that only a global, non-governmental UBI program such as MANA can solve. We've already started giving away an unconditional social dividend to about 100,000 people around the world. If enough people in the wealthier parts of the world decide to support MANA, we can provide a meaningful basic income through the power of blockchain technology and freedom of choice to support a new monetary system based on the principle of the inherent worth and dignity of every human being. It's very important that such a project succeed. Severe poverty and inequality cause people and whole societies to become filled with hopelessness, fear, and anger. This leads to war, terrorism, genocide, mass migration, and refugees flooding across national borders, problems that affect all of us. And really, what child deserves to have untreated intestinal worms? But 800 million children in the world do. It doesn't take a lot of money to fix this. 
even a grassroots, people-powered cryptocurrency can provide enough money to make a difference. So I hope you'll join us in helping to make the MANA currency a success. If you believe that the world's poorest people should receive a universal basic income to help them climb out of extreme intergenerational poverty, then supporting MANA is a realistic way you can help. To learn more, please visit the People's Currency Foundation website at peoplescurrency.org and sign up to start receiving free distributions of MANA each week at manabase.com. Thank you for your support.